talk like me, bet you wanna be the boss like me. Yeah, yeah. All these hoes wanna sauce like me, floss like me, walk up in the club with no. What to do, everybody? So today, back with your girl Faith, and today's video, I'm filming a personal hygiene video. This is kind of like a girl talk, you know. This is for my ladies out here. Um, I'm just going to be kind of not well educating, but just talking about, you know, how to take care of yourself. Because I feel like a lot of girls grow up and you know they don't get taught how to care for themselves, and then boom, they get to high school or whatever and then next thing you know everybody's talking about your cootie cat so <laughs> you don't want that and i feel like you know as youtubers and stuff and especially as a girl youtuber lady youtuber woman youtuber whatever you want to call it um we should be using this platform for all good things and i feel like you know i have a lot of young viewers so i just want to talk about this subject oh my goodness but yes, I just want to talk about this subject. So without further ado, let's just get into the video. I apologize in advance for the hair. Um, I'm taking these braids out tomorrow and getting my hair done on Friday. So just, just wait on me anyways. So the first tip um, slash piece of advice. Limit tight clothes, especially like if you're at the point where like you're shaving and stuff like that. You should limit the amount of tight clothes that you wear because, uh, well, at least right after because, like, it'll cause your ingrown hairs and stuff like that. And um, as ladies, you guys know how that feels. So just limit the amount of tight clothes that you're wearing after you shave. Um, another tip is letting her breathe at night. You can't just, like be going to sleep in your jeans and just all types of stuff like i mean who would really want to do that anyway and just like with especially with pajama pajamas going to sleep in leggings and stuff like that it's just not good for you and i feel like you know um especially if you're at that age once again you don't have to worry about somebody coming in the room pulling covers off of you and stuff like that though so, and you shouldn't have to worry about that so therefore i think that you should you know, let it breathe because it's nice for us to do that and you should be doing that. So, yes, that's another tip. Yes, and the night time is the best time because, I mean, you shouldn't be free balling all day long. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if that's what you do, that's what you do. That's that's your business. But um, I feel like at night time, that's like the best time to, you know, follow suit. Right, so my next piece of advice is to make sure that you're keeping it dry down there, you know. Because I feel like if you say you went on vacation, you were on a cruise or something like that, or you just went swimming in general, and you would pack your little overnight bag with all your clothes for the next day and stuff like that, you're on vacation. So obviously that's what you're going to do. You wouldn't go swimming, take your bikini off or whatever you're wearing, and just throw it in the bag and just let it dry like you would, you know, other clothes or something like that. Not even that, but just your soaking wet swimming suit throw it in the bag and just let it sit all the days that you're on vacation because why because it'll make it smell it will make your bag stink the swimming suit will stink and it's just no you just wouldn't do that so don't do it down there okay um it won't grow mold but it will create a stench and you can get an infection if you're doing that like you just need to make sure that you are drying it don't just lotion up throw on panties and go because that's not that's just not okay so make sure you're drying it um the next tip that i have for you is showers and baths whatever you take um i i take showers i haven't taken a bath in like years even though i you know they're relaxing and stuff i just i just be on the go all the time so i don't really have time to sit down and take a bath but um yes besides the point anyways so I feel like, okay, I personally take two to three showers a day. That's just me. But I know some some girls, they'll take, you know, a shower at night, like especially during the school year, take shower at night, wake up, go through the whole school day, take shower at night, you know, and complete it. That's okay. But I feel like when you're on your period, you should be taking two showers a day at max, like at least two showers a day because that's just that's just nasty and I feel like you would even be uncomfortable doing that because you should be wanting that you don't just wash off all that for the day like especially on your period like 
you can wipe all day all day all day all day but you're not really getting stuff going going like when you get in the shower then you can really you know take care of whatever is going on down there like you just need to make sure you're taking at least two showers a day on your period okay because that's that's also could cause like infections and stuff like that if you're not properly cleaning because then you're just letting it build up and that's just not like i don't know i wouldn't feel comfortable just like going to sleep overnight and just you know knowing that smell is there because it will start to smell it will start to smell knowing that that smell is there so yeah so my next tip that i have for you guys is when you are on your period make sure you're changing your pad slash tampon periodically you know in a timely manner and i feel like you know you know when you should be changing like your pad i i for instance i don't use tampons um i don't know i just never felt the need to but you know whether you're using either or you know and you know that feeling you get when it's just like it fills up and you need to go change it because at that point you're just letting blood dry up all over your cootie cat and that's just that's nasty like and i know it's uncomfortable for you to be sitting there in that so you just need to make sure that you are changing your tampon slash pad periodically um so yeah and especially because of the fact that bacteria can build up and stuff in there and you just don't want that because then that's where UDs come into play and you know all types of other stuff that you just really could prevent just by you know changing your pads and tampons and stuff especially tampons um so yeah so don't think that just because they absorb that they really doing a job because they're not you will leak through at some point especially if you're a heavy bleeder this definitely 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 applies to you because if you are heavy then you need to make sure that you're changing it at least every three to four hours this is for like all periods but especially like more if you feel the need to if you're like more of a heavy period haver but yes so if you are sexually active make sure that you wrapping it up okay because um yeah especially if you and your partner like aren't really on terms with you know what his background is as far as you know stds and stuff like that if he hasn't gotten tested you need to make sure that you're wrapping up until you know that time and even after that you know especially speaking to young viewers even after that you still should be using protection just not only for stds but pregnancy as well but yes because especially if you're just you know doing your thing and you know that's okay to be doing your thing but at the same time you need to make sure you're taking care of down there and you need to make sure that you are preventing yourself from getting infections and stds and stuff like that and yes because some guys they'll just they'll lie about it and they'll just be like um no or they'll just say that they don't want to use you know a condom or something like that just because and no that's not no that's not how that works so you need to tell him that you are not doing nothing until y'all use protection because that is not only protecting yourself from pregnancy that's protecting you from stds which is really 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 important to try and turn this off and see if it balances at all it probably won't i probably look stupid now but hopefully this clip is good <laughs> make sure that you are using you know the right products um summer's eve <clears throat> big no-no do not use summer eve because they'd be throwing off your ph balance and stuff like that and you can really do the research for yourself on that one but they're just not a good company i don't recommend it even like i don't recommend any products that say like just feminine wash and just stuff like that because those companies are more so focus on trying to make money versus you know helping you take care of what's down there and they don't really care about that they don't care about your ph balance getting thrown off they don't care about you getting an infection after using their product they don't care because at the end of the day you're getting your money so um i really recommend you know dove suave even target brand like um the up and up like you know knock off of like the dove wash so good and unscented you want to keep it unscented down there the bath and body works you know little shower gels and you know victoria's secret little shower body wash you no no that's not for down there you you never use something like that under there because that that will contribute to 
versus you thinking that it's going to help it smell better it's going to help it smell worse because that's throwing off your ph balance completely using scented products down there you should never like that's a big no no do not use scented products down there ever and you know when you are like you know washing down there not wash like towards like you know like your hole or whatever you need to just wash around and stuff like that and make sure that you are doing that because like i feel like some girls you know they hear do not wash down there or whatever and just don't ever do it and we're back at the stench and stuff like that so you can wash down there you just can't wash like inside you know and um yeah you shouldn't be washing inside because that can cause a uv as well um but yes use like gentle body washes like do not use scent stuff ever ever like you can use that on your body but if you know you're gonna be using like a loofah or a towel or something like that to wash your body with your little shower gels from wherever then you need to grab something separate for when you're trying to wash down there because like this it's just it's gonna be a mess i'm telling you now do not do it all right so i just have a couple more things um so my next one is if you're going to be sexually active and stuff like that you should definitely take initiative to go to the doctors um your OBGYN, you can go to them you know obviously they're the ones who's going to be able to screen you for stds and stuff like that so you definitely need to go get yourself tested and stuff like that make sure everything's right and functioning correctly <laughs> because you know that's just that's just very important i feel like also if you notice signs with your body changing and stuff like that down there and it's stuff that doesn't usually happen and you know your body's sending you signals you should go to the doctor and get it checked out even the smallest little thing that you just think like um where did this come from or it's like a pattern or something like that do not ignore it and just brush it off and just think that you can take care of it at home because nine times out of ten you probably can't so go to the doctor and you know just let them do their job and help you with what you need and um my last one that i'm going to say is to make sure that you know when you out going pink and victoria's secret buying you some new panties you know make sure you're washing them before you put them on because i kid you not even if you're pulling from the drawer multiple girls have probably worn them in the dressing room tried them on and even not they're coming from probably a factory or something and you, you just don't want that like you know how much dust probably collected in them boxes when they were putting them into the little thing you know everybody's touching them and stuff you just there's just precautions i just feel like every time you get some new underwear you should be washing it don't just throw it on like it's nothing um wash it before you do it and also okay this is my real last one um if you trying to be cute for your man and you know you wear a little thong or something like that don't wear them every day they're not for everyday wear um uh, i'm just gonna say this i you know i've done my research and stuff like that do not wear it like every day it's just not it's not healthy you know that little old string going up all day long it's just not no it's not gonna work um yes you should that's all i'm gonna say you should not be wearing one every single day if that's what you are doing but yeah so i hope you guys all enjoyed my video um i really enjoy you know kind of helping educate and cater to my younger viewers or even my older ones it doesn't even matter at this point i just want to get the message across but um yes so i'm actually probably gonna film another video after this um just change my outfit or whatever huh expose myself uh, <laughs> but it's okay because you know a lot of youtubers do it so yes but i'm really trying to get back on schedule and stuff like that now that i am you know done with even online school and stuff like that i have a lot more time and my schedule has changed for work so that's working out for me and yes i'm ready to just you know push out some videos but enough talking i love you also so much like comment subscribe and i will see you guys next time peace